Weeds and bass go hand in hand, but all weeds are not equally attractive to bass. Unlike rocks or submerged wood that provide consistent cover for bass throughout the year, different types of weeds bloom, flourish, and recede at different paces and places during the year. As they do, bass change depth and location to take advantage of the best available feeding opportunities and habitats. Finding and interpreting prime weed growth is often the key to catching bass on natural lakes, as Alan James Lindner explained. Well, she hit that thing going, a little bit deeper than the other ones. Well, I thought she, she was bigger than she was, but I'll take her. Ooh, but I'll take her. Boy, she buried down in that junk. Makes for a tough bite. Let me get another cast or two in there. That fish hit like she had company. When they're eating it like that, look at how that boy you ate it. Dude, it's sort of fun. Mine's the a thing, peanut when you get that one. The thing is, is when you, this time of the year during midsummer, you get in these lakes where you got these expansive weed flats. You know, you got to have a couple of different tools for fishing the edge. You know, the edge is like like the pivot point or the uh, real uh, key contact point for uh, for all different fish species. We'll get her back in the water, but that's a chunk and a half. Nowhere near as big as yours. <laughs> It's important to remember that not all the bass in a lake are doing the same thing at the same time. There could be some fish up in the slot, some across the flats, and some on deep weed edges. Today, this is where we're focusing our efforts. The deep weed edge on any lake during the midsummer is a main focal point for bass. They feed here and rest here. We call it a pivot point. The fish may be right on the edge, or they could be up in the weeds tucked way down. They could be on a flat, but up high. Or they could even be out of the weeds suspended. They might even be out of the weeds, but on the bottom. A lot of this depends on forage. They simply follow the food. You know, one thing that uh, what Al's been doing, he's been throwing his jig. He's actually been fishing it actually into the weeds and actually out beyond the edge of the, you know, the distinct weed edge where I've been taking this uh, Arashi 10 and actually sort of paralleling the outside the weed edge and it's hard bottom, a little bit of sand and sort of walking it along the bottom and that's where it's, these last couple of them had come from. Let's see if we can get back into position here. It's sort of interesting, you know, you get various conditions and how those fish use that distinct weed edge throughout the summer months is sort of a contact position. Sometimes they move up into the weeds and actively feed, you know, or if they're inactive, they'll bury down into them. If the fish get active, a lot of times they'll move up high and over the tops of the weeds or actually move out of the weeds to actively feed. And that's what we're seeing right now. I'm out in about 10 foot of water. You can see how clean it is. But what we've been seeing is see there, that's, I don't know if that, that could be a bass or a bluegill suspended there. But as we get closer in, you'll be right to the tighter on the weed edge, you'll see those bigger marks down there. You can see that those are, those are suspended uh, panfish, bluegills. And that's what our buddies are feeding on. <laughs> 